Hello my scrappy friends, welcome to my channel again today. So this one's up a couple of days late. Um, I'll just say life. Life has happened and I'm finally onto this. So this is my share for May for Scrap the Boys and it's all about mothers. Um, you saw my page there, I've used a cut file from Cut to You. It is called Floral Field Heart Number 2 I think. Think. I'll make sure I link it. It's linked in my blog post and I will make sure I link it down below. Um, as you can see, I'm using a stack of Cocoa Vanilla Studio goodies. This pattern paper with the, the white with the text is from the Love Always collection. I'm actually using it for the blue side. And I am just tracing the inside of all of those flowers and I've numbered them all. So I've numbered the middle of the back of the circle and then I've numbered the back of the cut file so that I can line up each of the circles. Um, I'm not going to show you this whole process but I have what I've actually done is flipped the cut file over um, and the pattern paper that I'm going to use and I'm cutting, I'm marking the back of the pattern paper and then just cutting outside of that line a bit. I'm using my Scotch Tacky Glue to stick my bits down. And again, I don't make you watch all of this. I've got the paper towel there for any glue that's going to smush out because no doubt it will. And you can see here, I'm just showing you, I'm going to do the inside, the centre bit blue, and then the very outside blue, and then the main part of the flower pink. I'm going to use this wood grain paper. This one is from Make-A-Wish as my background, uh, but just, just watch. If you're observant, you'll notice. Um, I wanted to add a little bit of texture, so I'm using some modeling paste and a Spooky Bruton stencil, and I'm just stenciling on in a couple of places where I want that modeling paste. So I'm just going with two places. I'm going to have the photo in the bottom right hand corner of that heart. Just cleaning up where I got a little bit extra modeling paste. And I'm going to come back in and add some more of those smaller um, flower shaped things. And I just, I think I add two here and three down the bottom. I can't remember exactly. So this video I've only sped up two times. Um, it didn't take me all that long once I got into the groove of it, which is unusual for me, but that's okay. So, hey presto, here's my background. Um, that's all dry, and I'm going to do some splattering. Now, I've, I've gone with the pink and the blue. I'm going to use this um, pink mist. It's at Shimmers. Um, I can't remember the colour. If anyone wants to know the colours, leave me a comment and I will link them below. I'm going to do the same with this blue as well. And surprise, surprise, I think I use gold too. Nope. Who knows what's changed here? <laughs> um, I went to put my cut file onto the other background and I had completely messed up where the stenciling was. So for this one, I actually, before I did anything, placed my cut file on top of the page and I traced around it with a lead pencil so that I got my got my placement exactly right. I'm really happy with how this turned out in the end. I am spewing about the other sheet of pattern paper. It's beautiful. Um, I'm sure I can find another use for it. Uh, so yeah. So I'm firstly I'm just sticking my photo to the heart because I want to make sure I've got that placement correct. And I'm going to come in with some sticky tape uh, in just a second on those corner there because I'm actually going to trim off the excess and I've stitched around the border of the photo and I don't want that thread coming undone over time. So I've just cut that off and I'm going to, so I'm erasing that pencil line that I was smart enough to put down this time. Um, this background, this wood grain is from the U Rock collection. So I love how so many of these collections just work together. So I'm erasing that pencil line and I'm going to come in with 
my Scotch tacky glue again. Not sure what I'm trimming there, but something. So first I'm going to start by gluing down my photo because I know that's not moving and that's easy for me to glue down. Get rid of the rest of that pencil line. And then I'm going to go in with my tacky glue. So I'm just going to add glue to one part, make sure that's stuck down, turn it, add some more. I don't make you watch all of it. Um, and now my cut file and photo are stuck to my background. I'm going to trim off the branding strip. And I think I'm going to start with my title. Yeah. So I've got these um, title pieces from also Craig Kirby the Studio, the Midnight Collection. And I pulled out a few and I played with some ideas. Um, when I looked back at this, when I did the voiceover, uh, when I did the editing, I was quite happy with the happy heart. And there's a part of me that kind of wishes I'd stuck with it, but that's okay. I'm happy with what I ended up with. Um, for whatever reason, I didn't like the happy heart when I first put it on. So I pulled out these wood veneer white dipped alphas. And again, I'm not going to make you watch all of that. I was going to do my whole heart. Uh, but it didn't fit where I wanted it, so I have cut that apart and I'm going with Oh My Heart and I'm starting to do some embellishing. I think I played around with lots of embellishments for quite a while until I found the right thing. Um, and I think I've left most of it in for you, but I'm not sure. I've I've recorded so many videos and not edited them yet. I can't remember what I've done. So I've got a label up there and a word strip sticker that says I adore you. That's from the Love Always collection. And so I'm going to muck around with my title here. Um, I'm being really conscious of where I've got open weird space with my letters and that's why I keep moving it. I haven't completely lost the plot. So I changed out that rainbow sticker for this Hello Happiness one, which I thought fit better. And then I'm going to try and bring a little bit more embellishment up to the top there, which I don't think I end up bringing in much more. Bring in the second label that I layer underneath that first label. I try an arrow, try the arrow a couple of times. And then I was like, maybe I can tuck my title in here. I'm like, yes, I like that. How can I make this work exactly so I'm happy with it? Again, I'm being really aware of where there's open spaces. I think with the O, I had half of the photo behind the O and half of um, the background pattern paper behind the O when I didn't, wasn't real keen on that look. So I'm going to tuck the my in here, make sure that's nice and straight, and then the O, no, I'm going to stick down the heart, and then, I'm not sure, I'm making sure that's all stuck down. For some reason it didn't want to stick so I'm coming. Oh, I also stitched around the border of the heart and I think that's why it didn't want to stick. So I'm going to try the O over here and I don't like it and I end up going with the O on top of the photo and so I'm going to shuffle everything over a bit so that I don't have any weird gaps behind my letter. And that is my title in place. Making sure that that word heart is sticking by dumping my modeling paste container on top of it. And I'm just starting to properly stick down all the bits. I'm going to 
going to add foam to these couple of word strips that are underneath my title. I think I have to go with two layers of foam. I can't remember. I'm using my eraser as a weight to hold it down. Whatever I could get my hands on. So the photo is of me and my two boys. This was my first Mother's Day as a mother of two. Um, and I just thought it was such a cute little photo. I'm looking at the camera. Neither of um, Hunter, so the little one, is looking at the camera, but he's got this cheeky little grin on his face, um, which for a long time we were the only ones to ever see. He was such a serious little baby with everyone else. And with us, he wasn't. We got this cheeky grin and the cheeky giggle um, and this really cute, funny personality. And he hid it from everyone else for the longest time. Um, and my big guy is actually, he was actually so in love with his baby brother for the longest time. Um, and he was, he used to call him my baby. And he's just staring adoringly at him with this big grin on his face. It's just a gorgeous little photo and I really love it. I've added my journaling uh, underneath the title there, and I think it says uh, my first Mother's Day as a mum of two and my heart is full or something. And then up the top, so this photo was taken at the Perth Zoo, so I've just put in that up the top there. And I'm coming in with some white splatters. Um, I'm really loving my white splatters. It's going They're going on everything at the moment. Um, if you're looking for a good one, Dilusions White Linen Spray. And of course, some gold high swap colour shine because why not? Um, I think on this page I only do little splatters. And I found that if I tap the, the sprayer thing on the side of the bottle as I pull it out, I get little splatters, if that makes any sense. So a close up here. Um, I really love how this page came together. It's, um, it's a bit cute. And I really love this photo of me and my boys. I have printed it at 5x5, five five, I think. Um, I'll make sure I link everything in the description box below. I can't wait to see what you create this month. Um, you're allowed to have yourself in the photos this month. So make sure that while well, you can, you do. Um, thank you ever so much for stopping by. And I am off to eat lunch and then create some more. So have a fantastic day. And I will be back again very soon with another share. Bye.